Cal South is proud to induct Shannon McMillan into the Cal South Hall of Fame. Mac ended up going to the University of Portland. While she was there, she had a great career and ended up winning the Herman Trophy Award. Um, and that's where Clive Charles had a huge influence on her. His unconditional love and his belief in me has taught me so much about myself, dealing with teammates, dealing with people, and just how to be a great soccer player, but more important, how to be a good person. Um, and he's in my heart. She's very athletic, she gets to everything, and she's very intense, and you know, I think she intimidates a lot of people. You know, she is definitely the ultimate player that you want on your team. It is safe with an assault for McPhillip. The shot is scored! McPhillip! One of Mac's most memorable goals was the 96 Olympics, the semifinal against Norway. Over time, Lil was dribbling down the left side, got a cross, Mia got a quick shot off, and Mac was there for the rebound to finish it. After Mac scored, the place went crazy. 60,000 people, Mac did her slide on her belly and everyone slid in and it was just jumping on each other. It was just crazy, crazy, crazy. Running and playing it up left side. Here's McMillan. She's in. She shoots. She scores. Shannon McMillan with the first goal in San Diego Spirit history, and she celebrates with the fans and her teammates here at Torero Stadium. She's the one that can play at, at a speed that is a, a different level, and. Uh, you know, she can bend it in with both feet. She can drive it in. She can find a seam that, you know, most people wouldn't see. Uh, it takes a while to adjust to that. One of my favorite World Cup moments was the 99 World Cup in the quarterfinal. Mac had just come in. She was going to take a corner kick, and I knew she was going to hit that ball. She drives the ball so hard near post. Knew it was coming at my head. She's so accurate and just can nail that ball. And for her to hit it right at my head, it was just we scored a goal together, and that was one of my most memorable moments. Got us into the semifinals. Take a look through my eyes. There's a better place somewhere out there. Just take a look through my eyes. Everything changes. You'll be amazed what you find. Congratulations to all the honorees tonight. My apologies for not being able to be there, but I am incredibly honored to be inducted into the Cal South Hall of Fame along with Steve Berksek and Joe Max Moore. While I enjoyed a 12-year career with the U.S. Women's National Team that saw me through three Olympic Games and two World Cups, I am a true product of Cal South. I grew up in San Diego where I started playing soccer at the age of five years old, and I played for teams like the Godzukis, the Rosebuds, and the Chicklets. I played just because my friends were out there and we had fun but it didn't take me long to fall in love with this great game of soccer that eventually helped me not only through college, but took me around the world representing our country. I'm still a member of Cal South today as I'm the director of the DMCB Sharks in San Diego, where I proudly give back to this game that's been so amazing to me throughout the years. I'm also excited that my almost five-year-old son, Braden, will join the Cal South family when he starts his career in our rec program this fall. But without a doubt, Cal South continues to produce the top players in the country year after year. And I've seen firsthand not only the support, but the opportunities that Cal South affords its membership. I would like to extend a special congratulations to our U17 Elite team, who are there tonight in honor of their national championship from last summer, as well as their coach, Felicia Kappas, who's being honored by Cal South as the competitive coach of the year. The best part about this team goes way beyond how talented these girls are on the field. This is a phenomenal group of young women, and I have no doubt that they're going to go on to be successful in life with whatever they put their heart and souls into off the field. I would also like to extend a special congratulation to Erin Misaki, who's also being honored by Cal South tonight as director of our recreational program. Erin is a dear friend of mine, and I've seen firsthand 
who touched the lives of over 2,000 families through her hard work with our top soccer and recreational program. So congratulations Sharks and congratulations to everybody out there again. My apologies for not being there, but to all you youngsters, dream big, believe in yourselves, work hard, and enjoy your journey. Congratulations and have a great evening. Thank you.